What is going on everybody? So today we're going to be opening up uh, 11 uh, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, 4 uh, 2 packs and then 3 singles. So the first one we have here is Shark Reek and this one is number 5 out of <clears throat> This one's number 5 out of 6 for the Superfield series. Let's crack this one open. So this one comes with a red crush car. This is the little card art for um, the nameplate. And then this is number 74 out of 75. So as you can see here, we have black rims. We have this wonderful um, like slime green translucent um, wheel color there, as well as a uh, chrome chassis there. And then the translucent shocks and everything underneath. We have a biohazard logo there. We have the Hot Wheels Monster Truck logo there, and then the Hot Wheels logo, as well as some kind of red splatters throughout, a translucent yellow for the paint job here, and then we have some green accents on all the trim pieces and things. This truck looks really, really clean. I love the Super Fueled series. Next up, we have a newer casting for uh, this year. Well, not maybe not a casting, but a newer truck for this year. Um, this is one out of 75. This is Snakebite in the green colorway. This is one of six from Fan Favorite, so let's crack this one open. A look at the nameplate here. We have Snake Fight, Vinny Venom on the bottom, one out of 75, and then the orange crush car. All right, so for this truck, we have some smoke gray rims here, black tires. We have the black shocks and everything, then a chrome engine underneath. The truck itself is this nice kind of metallic green color. I really like the pearl in that. Then we have snake bite above the rear fender on both sides. We have Firestone underneath the driver's and passenger side door. Um, we have the Hot Wheels logo. We have the Monster Trucks logo. We have a Summit Racing logo. We have some fang details in the front. We have scale details all throughout the truck here. And then we also have a Firestone and a Smoky gray um, windshield there and then if you look at the rear we have snake bite last but not least of the singles this is new from the marvel series this is 75 out of 75 this is the venomized hulk this is a new one for 2021 Alrighty, so this one comes with the red crush car as you can see and the venomized hulk logo there and then new for 2021 75 out of 75 all right, as you guys will know from my last review, this is pretty much the same exact casting as the regular Hulk, but it's Venomized, so Venom took over. So this one has the black tires, black rims with the chrome B-locks on it, the purple chrome that is, um, a chrome engine, and then we have the black accents for the shocks and everything. We have some smoke gray um, step stools for both of the sides here. We have Venom's teeth in the front, as well as poking through the grill here. Really nice details. Then you look at the sides here. We have some of the spikes from Venom poking out mouth there. We have the green windshield. We have more spikes on the top there. And then we have his eyes taking over the cab there as well. And then we have the little mar uh, the marble stamp there. And then the rear has the green taillights there. And that's pretty much it for this one. It's pretty cool. Um, I kind of like the regular Hulk more, but this is a good concept to me. First up from the two packs here, this is a new one for 2021 from the Demolition Doubles. We have Donkey Kong versus Bowser. So let's crack this one open. Right, as you guys can see, this is the nameplate here. Kind of like an old school fight screen. So we'll start off with Donkey Kong. So Donkey Kong here has the black tires. Then we have red rims, chrome engine, black shocks. We have DK's face on the front here with some light details added on. We have a smoke gray windshield. Then you look at the side here, we have the full head as well as a really, really nice color. Um, this burnt orange color I really, really do enjoy on a lot of the Hot Wheels castings. We have rear taillight details. And we also have the DK logo with this barrel. The barrel's a really nice touch. Next up, we have a Bowser casting. The Bowser casting has these yellow wheels. Then we have headlight details added on his teeth. We have a plastic yellow, like tannish color for his uh, mouth and things, as well as the over fenders there. 
Then we have the Hot Wheels logo. We have the Monster Trucks logo. We have a smoke gray um, little windshield there. Then if you look at the rear, we have his little tail. We have that burnt orange color again. Looking from the top, we have all of his facial details added on the truck as well as the shell. This one looks really good as well. I ended up getting these two um, with a free $10 coupon from eBay. So I ended up only spending like $1.14 on these two. So I cannot complain with the two pickups I have here. Next up for the demolition doubles, we have Snakebite versus Bigfoot. This one is also a super cool casting. And here's the little name plates here. Looks really cool, both uh, actual branded trucks. So let's start off with the snake bite this time. So for this snake bite truck, the base of the truck is red. We have green rims with um, white V locks, then black tires, black shocks, and then a chrome engine. We have the Hot Wheels logo here, the snake bite branding above the rear fenders again. This one has a little bit more detail, I would say, on the face than the green one. Uh, you can kind of see the shape of the snake going on the side there with the eyes, the scales. Then looking at the front, we have the mouth and the teeth there. I really like this colorway more than the other one, but the green one is really nice as well. I'd like to find the super treasure hunt, but I mean the treasure hunt, but I'm probably not going to, but we'll be optimistic about it. Next up, we have the Bigfoot truck. I'm not sure what um, stage of Bigfoot this is, but this one has the black tires, white rims, the chrome uh, engine, and then the black shocks. It has Bigfoot branding on both sides underneath the window. We have Summit Racing Firestone Hot Wheels and the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo. Wonderful blue metallic there with the red and the uh, yellow stripes. Bigfoot branded on the grill as well as headlight details. A clear um, windshield on this one. Same thing on the other side. And then on the rear, we of course have the Bigfoot branding. Next up. For the two packs here, we have the uh, Ryu versus Kamori. Um, Demolition Doubles, I hope I said those names right. But these two are really cool to me. I love the colors on these. So let's crack these open. And for the first one, we're going to start off with the Ryu. Um, this one has the gold B locks, red rims, black tires, the yellow shocks, chrome engine. Then on the side here, it looks to be a like Chinese or maybe like a uh, Hawaiian style um, artwork for either a tiger or a dragon. Um, then we have the Ryu name on the side. We have the Hot Wheels and the Monster Truck logo. Then looking from the front, we don't have any painted details on the front there except for on the hood. Then we see the uh, tiger or the dragon again there. I believe it's a tiger now that I'm looking at it. Ryu branding again red windshield um, same thing on the other side and then on the rear we have that same branding next up we have uh, Kamori this one I really like um, the red rims black tires the teal shocks the chrome engine then we have Kamori which he or she looks to be more so like a bat this time um, on this burnt orange base which is really really nice no painted details in the front again um, the name on the hood again as well as the bat or the dog on the whole thing the top then we have the hot wheels monster trucks and hot wheels branding on the side there and then the same thing on the rear with the name and then that kind of like scary bat looking face is really cool and then last but not least, this is one that I've been really, really excited to open up. We have the Hot Wilder and the Hound Hauler. All right. So here is the card art for these two. Really enjoy these two. I'll get into that whenever I go into the review, of course. Let's start with this Hot Wilder. This Hot Wilder. Um, is a little bit different than the other ones I've reviewed on my channel. This one has the black uh, rims there, um, the red metallic v locks and then black tires, as well as chrome engine, chrome exhaust, then this tan like skin-like color for the uh, shocks and things. 
Then we have the Hot Wheels logo in the rear, a 68, another um, Hot Wheels logo there. We have teeth coming out and detailed painted everything there. The 68 on the hood, as well as a kind of smoky gray um, accent there for the windshield. The teeth detail on the front look really good as well. The red color is also super nice. And then I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but the rear of the Hot Wheeler has the collar and then the chain on the back. I really like that chain, it looks really nice. And here's a little quick overview of the truck. Last but not least, we have the Hound Hauler from the two pack. I believe they released this as a single as well, but the single I'm pretty sure had, um, it didn't have like a translucent chassis. So we'll get into this one. This one has the um, kind of brownish caramel color for the rims, then a uh, yellow for the B-Locks, black rims, the translucent shocks, uh, chrome engine. Then we have the Hound Hauler branding, which looks kind of like a kennel on wheels. Um, you see all the sad dogs on the side, really cute, um, as well as the cage details there. We'll look at the rear, we have Hot Wheels logo, the Hound Hauler, and the Monster Trucks logo. Then if you look at the top of the truck, we have a really cute paw print with a dog face in the top, Hot Wheels on the bone, Hound Hauler there, and then a lock. Same thing on the other side. And then if you look at the front, nothing is painted there, but this yellow color is really, really nice. And we have a translucent smoky windshield. But again, guys, um, I'm gonna be cranking out a lot of videos. I do have tons of videos recorded. They're just not uploaded yet. My internet's really bad right now. But um, you guys will see videos start popping up on the channel more and more. So um, I'll catch you guys in the next one.